a man is already considered blessed when he chooses to walk with God. Such a man is marked out for fruitfulness. The Bible in Psalm 1 verse 3 says that such a man shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in season. His leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. This is a blessed assurance for anyone who is broken and one who walks with God. The fruitfulness of such a man will know no bounds, because there are no bounds to anyone that God himself blesses. A broken man is a man that has the fear of God, and he desires to please God alone and continually. When a man fears the Lord, it is the beginning of wisdom. Such a man will be fruitful, because he is wise. The wisdom of God will guide his life. Through wisdom, ideas are birthed that will produce fruits that will be evident in his life, and all those that come around him will benefit and enjoy the fruit of his life. God gave Solomon wisdom as a king, and throughout the history of Israel, there was never a king like him before his reign and after his reign. The wisdom of Solomon spread through all the nations of the world, such that kings and queens travel far and near to listen to him. The wisdom was also obvious in the fruitfulness of his life and the whole nation of Israel, because gold became as cheap as anything that anyone can afford. Such is the case of any man that is broken. God will grant him wisdom that will make him fruitful in whatever he does, no matter who you are and what you do. A student, a businessman, a CEO, an entrepreneur, a politician, a doctor, a lawyer and other professions, when the wisdom of God showers on you, you become fruitful, thereby making you a phenomenon. A broken man is an obedient man. You cannot claim to be broken and still be disobedient and rebellious. Such is not the character of a broken person. When you are a broken man, you are obedient to the instructions of God and whoever God has placed over your life. There's no way you can be fruitful when you find it difficult to do what God asks you to do. Fruitfulness starts from obeying the instruction or instructions that God gives you. It is evident in the Bible how individuals and nations have become fruitful by obeying the instructions given to them by God. The instructions that God gives you are not really to his advantage, but largely to your betterment. Abraham answered the call of God and obeyed the instructions of God. He was so fruitful that he became a threat to the nations around him. God had to swear by himself to Abraham to bless and multiply him. Abraham's exceedingly great reward, and today billions of people are referred to as the seed of Abraham. King Saul disobeyed the instructions of God that were given to him through prophet Samuel. He was not broken because he cared about the opinions of others more than God. He did what was not asked of him, and because of that, the kingdom was taken away from him. His family was almost wiped out from the surface of the earth, except for one, and fruitfulness was far away from him. There is no fruitfulness in disobedience, and there is no disobedience in brokenness. Therefore, you need to be broken, so that you can be fruitful and be a blessing to all those around you. A broken man is not a proud man, but rather a humble man. To be humble is to be meek, and Jesus, teaching his disciples and other followers, said, quote, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. End quote. To inherit the earth is to be fruitful. When you inherit the earth, Everything that is in the earth belongs to you, and therefore yields its fruits to you. When a man is not humble, then he's considered to be proud. A proud man is not teachable. He does not take to corrections and learning new things,
because he believes that he knows it all and can attain any height on his own. Pride blinds a man to see opportunities that could be life-changing and productive, thereby making him fruitful. To be fruitful, you have to learn from God first and then your superiors or mentors in that field or area. But pride will not allow you, thereby denying you the chance of being fruitful. No one will want to work with a proud, whether as a boss or as an employer, which limits the chances of an increase, thereby affecting fruitfulness. To be humble, first of all, you have to see your sufficiency, not in yourself, but in God, who is your source and sustainer. When you come to Him, you have to empty yourself of self and let Him fill you up with Himself. There's no way you carry God inside you and will not be fruitful. When God lives in you, He inspires you with ideas, initiatives, and grants you influence that makes everything you do productive and fruitful. When God gives you ideas and initiatives, it's not for you alone or temporal. It's for generations to come. A proud man cannot work with a team of other experts to brainstorm and offer solutions to problems and issues that might be a giant strike and like a stream will continuously spring wealth. King Nebuchadnezzar conquered all the nations of the world, including Israel, and through him, Babylon became the world power at that time. It can be said that Nebuchadnezzar was fruitful, but pride was found in him, and the hand of God reduced him to an animal, a beast in the forest, and for seven years, until he became broken and came to the realization that all belongs to God and he alone should be praised. Remain broken before God, remain humble at all times, and he will make you fruitful in all your ways.